doing the absolute number one show on television right now and in an absolute long, long time, thanks to AMC. We are proud to present to you three members from the Walking Dead cast. John Bernthal! Is there going to be more about Merle's backstory come out? Video. 
whatever whatever backstory you're going to get from uh, the the production uh, in regards to Merle will be folded in to uh, the uh, the script, not all at once, just little bits and pieces, like they've been doing all along. So uh, yeah, there will be more, but it won't be too obvious. Let's hope. Thank you. And hopefully they won't say too much. Hey, I just want to say uh, I love the show. I love you guys. Uh, my question, I have a question and request actually. My, my question is, do you guys find yourselves uh, maybe overwhelmed or surprised at how popular the show is since it's so fresh and new? How about you? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, and I, I was the one that actually got sleep last night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead, man. <right? laughs> you know what? You, you, you never know about these things, and you just go there, you're on set, you do your shit, and, and uh, you know that's it. You, you just don't know what's gonna what's gonna catch fire and what's not. And we're, we're very happy. I, I, you know, it's been very good for my friend here, and, uh, and absolutely. You're, you're burning up, my friend. You're, you're Literally, going right crazy there. Yeah. out there. He's been working... Shit. <laughs> You've been working, you know, since you died. Yeah. Your ass has been working every day, man. Yeah. You haven't even had a break. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I think that in the beginning... Oh, uh, man, I can't speak. All right, in the beginning, uh, I think that, uh, you know, when we first got there, Everybody uh, knew how, how lucky they were to be there. Everybody cares about it a lot. Everybody on the crew cares about it a lot. And, and we, everybody believed in this great script that was written. But as we got there and kind of got to know everybody, it just got better and better because it's a real game group of people who take it super seriously. And everyone, there's no assholes. Everyone knows how lucky they are to be there. We all take it super. I mean, I'm dead, but when I was there, we took it super seriously. I'm very. Uh, I'm very, uh, and we were all very proud of it. I think we b believed in it from the beginning. Uh, not that it would be some mega hit, but that it was going to be really freaking good because we saw what's going on. Like this is this is some badass stuff. Let's work as hard as we can. We and, and take pride in it. But uh, I don't think anybody could have been prepared for how how like big it got. We don't really think about that. We just try to make it as good as possible. And, I, and one of the cool things about being dead now is I, I I get to just watch and not you know I don't read the script so. I get to watch his crazy ass and freaking norm and you know what I mean and, and they're awesome. It's 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 a really it's a real badass show to and, and I'm gonna add that you know the reason that it's it's, it's taken off is because of y'all. One hundred percent. And I'd just like to add, John, uh, I enjoy your modesty and whatever, but you were basically the catalyst. You were, you know, an original member. You pretty much set aside or uh, a, lit a chain of events that uh, created the show the way it is now. So without you, even though you're dead, you're not dead to us in our hearts. You were fucking awesome. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nine or ten, maybe, you know, who knows? 
Thank you. Michael Rooker is not a role model. <laughs> hey, 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 watch it. Yeah, good luck. That's serious. Good luck. <laughs> Go ahead, young man. What, are you an actor too? No, I'm a martial artist. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, so I have a picture of Daryl Blue standing you in the second season, and then he drew an arrow in your back. Does that actually happen? I wouldn't pass that. I wouldn't put it past that little weasel. <laughs> put an arrow in his own brother's back. Oh, you know his his, his eyesight's not that good. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you want me to tell you the honest truth? Set, uh, I'm telling you, no, most I don't even know if I ever told you this before, but it set like a precedent 
where it was like, you got to be that badass if you want to be on this shit. Like, you got to go for it that way. And there was like, no, none of y'all are going to be able to do that kind of shit. That kind of shit that do. And we all, we all heard about it. I'll never forget where I was when they were explaining what he was doing up on that roof. So, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. And that was where you made tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> Good question.
the journey he went on, and 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 uh, I, I, you know, you gotta love the character, and you gotta, you gotta, you know. So yeah, I tell you, did that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah. I, 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 I did it as well. Okay, one question each so we get through the line. Love you guys. Thank you, that's your question next. <laughs> and as I always pick on the, the rednecks until the, the zombie apocalypse comes. Say what, baby? I always pick on the rednecks until the zombie apocalypse Hell yeah, they do. <laughs> but I wanted to know, have y'all read, uh, before y'all started this, did y'all read any of the comics and do you find it uh, harder to play a character that was in the comics? Really? With that I think I play a prank every time I go on and 
the scene with these guys. I mean, anyone, they never know what the hell I'm going to do. That's true. That's sort of like a prank. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Hello. 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 <laughs> First of all, I have to say, love the show. I will not miss an episode, and it gets to the point where if a customer even walks into where I work, I'll be like, huh, you better wait, because Walking Dead's on, you better wait until commercial. <laughs> <laughs> and I just have to ask, do y'all actually have a plan for the zombie apocalypse, and what is it? <laughs> What's your plan? You know, I know your plan. Yeah, I'm just going to go to like a Four Seasons and lock yeah. off the penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all were on my zombie apocalypse team. Yeah. Yeah. That's Norman's plan. Do you have a plan? No. Yeah, he ain't got no plan. He's in New York, right? You're in New York right now. Right. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's gone. <laughs> hey, you guys. Most, what do you most major, uh, most major uh, uh, City. uh, cities with a lot of populations are going to just pretty much perish right away, right? So... You know, if you're out in the countryside, you have a better chance. Guys, don't you want to see these two guys go on at least for five more seasons, and then we have some sort of flashback during that time where we can bring John back? Yeah! John, that's great. So, you know. Thank you. Next. My question is, obviously, Shane, we, you knew you were going to die going in. What was the biggest shock of the characters that died in the show for all What was what? Which one shocked you the most, That the person that got killed off? So, uh, Sarah, uh, Lauren, just last a couple of weeks ago. But she died in the books, too. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, you know, Later. You know, I mean, uh, Later. She, uh, biggest shock? Um, shock. T dog. T dog. Yeah, T dog. That was really? awesome. Dale. What, what about Michael and Norman? What, what would be your biggest? Oh man, I, it sucks when anybody dies. Yeah, it sucks. Um, uh, Madison. I, was, I grew, grew really fond of the little girl. Um, and she, and that one was like, you know, she was sad. Yeah. Yeah. She was a quiet little girl yeah. too. And, uh, but she you know, came out of bar and she's a liability though, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta run, and the little girl just like hobbling. And you're ruthless. Jeez, please. Yeah, we all thought Merle was a liability too. I don't. I, Merle's, Merle's, a, Merle's not no liability. No, I, I don't. You know what? I don't. I don't believe I've had a shock yet. I think. I, I think I'd be shocked if. After three episodes or four episodes go by, that someone doesn't die. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? My question is for John. The um, yeah, last scene uh, was really powerful, uh, emotional, and both of you really told as much uh, facial expression, if not more, than words. Um, how, how long did that scene take to really get right or, or be happy with it? Uh, be happy with it. Uh, I guess the performance, not so much what uh, actually. I don't know, man. Uh, you know, we're, uh, shoot, I don't know, I don't know if I'm ever, like, happy with it, um, uh, but, but, uh, it was, that, one, that one was definitely tough because, you know, I think Andy and I had a, a version of the scene that was one way, and the writers had a, uh, a version of the scene that was different. You know, it was really important to me. Uh, what? That's Still going, going on today. Well, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. I mean, that's, and, oh and uh, so it's like, you know, I think it was one of them things where um, it was really important that, you know, I really wanted Shane to be taking Rick out into the woods to make Rick kill Shane. I wanted it to be as much a suicide as an attempted murder. I didn't want there to be bullets in the gun. I wanted, I wanted, uh, it, it was really important to me that it was about him, you know, making Rick take this, this, this step to be the kind of man that would be able to raise my, my, my kid, you know? And, and <laughs> <laughs> so that, you know, there was all this kind of like bickering and, you know, fighting back and forth about how the scene was going to be and what the words were going to be. And, and on the day, you know, it was really just, you know, Andy and I went out there and we made pretty much all the words up. And, and you know, now I'm dead so I can say that stuff. Can't fire me, can't do nothing. But, you know, like, uh, you know, we, and, and, uh, and that was pretty cool because it, it, it really became, 
you know, for me, this show started, the, the whole process started with Andy and I, you know, and like I said, in that car, and it ended with, for me, it ended with, with us in that field, and, and, and it, it kind of, uh, you know, I think it had all the elements of what the writers wanted, and had the elements of what, what, what we were after, too, and, you know, I'm, I'm glad you dug it, and I'm glad you feel like it worked out. Yeah, we had the whole we had the whole cast show up that night to watch. It was uh, yeah, I mean we're all we're up there. <coughs> yeah, it's it's a serious family. Everybody came and stayed that whole night. We shot we shot that scene all night long out in the field, and, and it's crazy because Georgia gets really cold in the, in late November, which which is hard to believe. But everybody stayed out and and, and watched. And Jeff Dumont came came back and plays Dale. It was very very sweet, very touching. I'll never forget it. Here, here, and it's, it's good to hear that. Bottom line. The actors did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah baby. Next question. Go ahead. And on a lighter note, uh, gentlemen, I was wondering if there's any uh, on-site romance going on that we don't know about. Yeah, a long distance thing going on. <laughs> We've known each other since day one. <laughs> well, you do know what they say. And we we'll love each can. other <laughs> on the other side as well. <laughs> By the way, bring that bottle to shoot later, all right? <laughs> Romance is <laughs> my ass. Yeah. I'm sleeping with everyone. As much as possible. <laughs> Hi, gentlemen. How are you doing? Good, man. Good, man. Um, I want to know, if you guys, all three of you, were in the uh, zombie fighting pit the governor has set up, who would win? <laughs> It'd be one of them. I would suck. I'd hide behind my brother. And we'd both hide behind John, probably. <laughs> 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 Sweet stash, John. Oh, thanks, man.
could, shut up over there. <laughs> just run back up to the mic and just pop. Rapid fire, quick question. Quick! Okay. We'll do Perfect! Fast! Go ahead, guys. Go. How, Go. Have you ever been arrested? In yes, a no, next. <laughs> matter that Shane had the right way, realistically speaking, and not morally, he should have been the one to succeed in the zombie Shut world. up! Next question! <laughs> Favorite zombie kill? <laughs> How hard was it to shoot the zombie arena? Say what? <laughs> what about it? How hard was it to shoot? Hard. Hard. <laughs> Norman, now that you're in New Orleans, what are you going to do to get better at the character since your character's from Louisiana? I don't know. <laughs> yes! Quick! Is Merle Dower going to die? <laughs> Shut up, next! Does Daryl... Shut up, next! Does Daryl still have Merle's... Shut up! You don't even know me a question about Daryl!